Hi, I'm Jim Meisner, Senior Director of Product Management, talking to you about Cellular V2X or CV2X. What is Cellular V2X? It's V to everything. V to V, V to I, V being vehicle, I being the infrastructure, V to pedestrian, V to network. So we aspire to have this total connectivity. We're working very hard through the globe to make this happen. What is this? It's the V2X proposition. Why do we want to have this V2X proposition to be worldwide? Because the worldwide crash fatality problem. So it is inherently a safety technology that leverages off of our chipset offerings. Our chipset offerings are in telematics. So by telematics, we talk about V2N, but we can add, and we're the only ones in industry who have added to our telematics platform that is connecting to 4G or 5G, this direct communication, which allows that low latency safety, and safety is what we're all about. So when we integrate our V2N solution with our V2X solution, with our positioning solution, what we have here is a total fit of, of, uh, solution that fits in a lot of global regions, starting with China. China, there's a full-scale deployment happening. You can see the numbers. It, what The protocols that we use in China are very similar to the protocols that we use in other countries. It's proven in China. We've done it as part of a national goal with 84 cities already. Many car companies have made public announcements to show that, that this thing, this Vito X deployment is real, starting with a prove out all the way through individual OEMs making announcements. In the US, we've done similar. The paces are a little bit different. The safety proposition is the same. And we've proven through various organizations how V2X could work as a superior over-the-air technology to deliver safety. So we're on the cusp of deploying this in the U.S. as well to follow in China's footsteps. Both nations will work pretty hard to make this really happen. Strong momentum in the U.S. started five years ago in a global movement called the 5G Automotive Association and is now considered by FCC to be the technology of choice. A little bit more work and a little bit more deployment, and here we have it. Now what we have over here is to show the larger value, the end-to-end -end value of V2X. We have these safety traces that are instantiated as in-vehicle messages. You can see this here. But this is a bird's eye view of a traffic management center. This is the type of information that road operators want. So in the end, what we have is a technology that's beneficial clearly to the OEM who wants safety for the drivers, to the individual traveler, be it a driver or a pedestrian or a bike rider, and finally to the road operator who can respond to these types of messages as it gets integrated into their system operation. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you have any questions, go look for CV2X at the Qualcomm web, Automotive website.